you the new hero Heartbreaker. She does look like a Heartbreaker to me. This is how she looks evolved. She has pretty nice colors, I would say. Nice, nice big gun. All right, I'm going to show you how mine looks like right now. I haven't taken her to 10 out of 10 because I'm not sure if she's really worth it. That we will see in the future. Anyway, this is again the picture. She has 9 out of 10 skills. And these are the stats. Deals 170% attack damage to two nearby enemies. Targets every 0.3 seconds for 4 seconds and reduces energy. That is really nice, I think, for last battlefield. Also restores heap health equal to 35 of damage dealt. That's something not great, I think. Cool down 4 seconds. And this is where it gets nice, I think. The critical hits from skill and basic attack deals 2.5 times the damage. She is immune to stun and fear, which is also good. The abilities, I would say she doesn't have that much health. She does have a lot of damage. As you can see, 9116. And the critical damage boost on the bottom here is also very, very high. I'm gonna compare to let's say let's say Demogorgon. As you can see he has 9431 and the critical damage is only 3590. So she does a lot more critical damage. She's also really fast. 320 compared to let's see was also pretty fast. Gonna pick a low ninja. He has 280. He's not evolved, so let's take a double evolved hero to actually compare. Dredrick is also really fast. So let's see. 300. So he is a, she is a little bit faster than Dredrick also, which is not bad. All right. I haven't put any pets on her, just so you can see much better how she will do in battle. I'm going to start with Lost Realm. I just put her in a solo team, so it's easy to see. She also has pretty nice amount of points, I think. As you can see, she looks really nice. With the really massive gun. It's probably as big as her. Alright, these are the single hits. And now she starts doing the proc. As you can see, she does a crazy amount of critical hits. Plus, she heals. Let's see. I hope I can find a little bit more targets. This is, should be a bit harder. As you can see, now she's going to start critting right now. Yeah, it's, it feels like half of the time she's critting. And she's healing up to 16,000. It's something, but it won't really keep her alive against very high hitting targets all right this is also going to be a bit harder i think she's really good in close combat combat as a support unit probably also in last battlefield since she, re she is going to reduce energy maybe for last battlefield re revite will be best since she's going to auto proc Uh, I guess we could do this. I gotta form a team. The I'm just gonna go for pure damage in this one. Who else are we gonna go? Uh, Michael also does pretty nice damage. All right, let's go with these. And let's see. Should go down pretty fast. And you can see you, you can see her, her her shots with the bullets. It's pretty hard to see on the boss. This is one of the easiest anyway, so it shouldn't really take us long. 
think I'm gonna do some Ratchet Jaws one. Maybe she can solo it, I'm not sure. Also gonna raid some bases soon. Arena would be nice if I could get like head to head with like one to one hero. But the, the, the problem is finding one to one. Right, this boss is almost dead. I really wished her his her gunfire was like longer distance. That would have been nice. A little bit like Santa Boom, but she doesn't really hit that far, so that's an issue I think. It's definitely not the best new hero that they created in the last few months. Right, this hero is dead. Demon. Alright, let's fight some bases. Did I put an artifact? I put her on Blitzcrawl. I'm just gonna take out the Blitzcrawl and just let her attack without. Alright, I'm trying to look for a side base. Because she can't really tank 6 heroes anyway, so... Let's see if we can find someone. Uh, this looks nice. Let's start from the top left, bottom left. As you can see, she hits pretty fast. And now she starts procking. She does kill buildings really, really fast. But I wish when she procked, it actually went to the hero bases. But she doesn't really do that, so... She's probably more used in here be monsters, I think. Lost battlefield. Alright, now she's gonna proc, gonna put... As you can see, she does pretty nice damage, but... She did take out a bunch of heroes here. So she's definitely not bad, especially when you support her with other troops, that she doesn't take the damage. I'm gonna try a hero trial here. Uh, I think level 10 should be doable. Oh god, not with my full team here. Actually, I'm gonna remove my team members. Keep it. He's in this spot. Sorry if my voice sounds a bit awkward, but I had a surgery two days ago and it's pretty hard. Well, I can't breathe through my nose, so you guys might have found that out already. Uh, Valentina, removing her also. All right, let's see. Let's see what she does against the Grizzly, Grizzly Reaper. She's probably gonna die here. As you can see, now she starts shooting. She actually is doing really great, really great, I think. She does pretty nice damage. I think a good challenge would be Ratchet George one. Right, form team. I'm gonna just take this one hero base and let her have it. Let's see how she's gonna do. Oh boy, not this team. Ah, I didn't I didn't put it as default team. That's the problem. Alright, go back. Create. Alright. Start. And let's see how she's gonna do.
This is the biggest biggest lo waiting time ever. <laughs> Alright, let's see. She really looks pretty, I think. Shoot it. Right. Let's see how she's gonna do. As you can see, she hits really, really fast. One hundred thousand critical damage. That's not bad on her own. Yeah, she hits. She hits really fast. That's why they gave her a machine gun. Makes a lot of sense. I don't think she's gonna be able to handle this wave since she doesn't heal that much well her health is doing pretty fine hero base is gonna die of course but she was able to survive this which is not bad all right i'm gonna do some i'm gonna do some low dungeons maybe some expert dungeons let's see Let's see how she's going to do here. I'm actually going to do some last battlefields also. So it looks like she's going to heal 1260. Which really won't help too much. In keeping her alive. I think she should have got a little bit more heals. But she does really hit fast. For a support troop it would be best. Alright. Let's see. Let's do some last battlefield for the team. I'm gonna replace her. Since he she actually takes damage. Uh, energy I mean. Might be best in a team like maybe even this team here. Don't kill me if I'm wrong in setting her up in a team, but I'm not too sure. Uh, I'm gonna remove my Arctica. Alright. Let's see. It's a lot of Aries. Gonna pick the lowest ones to see how she's gonna do. Attack with this my team first. Let's see how she does in energy. Nobody had had energy in this team against us, so maybe in the next battle we will see. This is going to be a win also. What's Ares Prox? I use Dredric and my Ares together. Just so Dredric stuns instantly. And so Ares has a chance to proc. Wells. Let's see again. Now she starts proccing. It's really hard to see in this how how she actually does. I'm gonna read some more bases after this to look at it. And I can't really put her solo on it because she will never make it. Actually I'm gonna use Cupid and Pumpkin Nook together with her. See how she's gonna do there. Revite Pumpkin Duke. Don't think I'm gonna use energy, but. So, what are you guys' or girls' your suggestions about this hero? Is she worth it or. Is she worth it or. I mean. She's definitely new, but. Makes me really wonder if she's such a good hero or not. Alright, let's see. 
got the zoom in. Since she doesn't have that much rage, I'm gonna put my deflect, uh, my reflect. She does do a lot of damage, but the problem is, as you can see, she doesn't have the health. Still doing nice damage. Yeah, she doesn't do bad. Think I need a ghoulin for her to stay alive. Gonna do it again. See how she's gonna do. Alright. We had some double evolved flats and stuff, so that could have explained why this is not gonna work, but we can try. No shame in losing or dying. I'm gonna put my eyes. Yeah, when she has a shot to proc, it's really, really insane damage, really. And you can see her move, she's super fast. Gonna do this again. Also, her reducing energy is not bad either. Let's see how she's gonna do now. Yeah, as you can see, she do she is doing a lot of damage. She was almost able to kill the Dredrick, double evolved. Still haven't decided where to really use her. Think maybe here be monsters will be nice. Alright, this is gonna be a massive challenge. I don't think we have a chance here. Yeah, but let's see. Gonna zoom in a bit. Put my eyes right now. Oh boy, Dredrick is coming for us. Nope, that was a big fail. I don't think she's gonna be a must-have hero, but she's nice to have. So... I guess this is it. If you guys have any uh, girls, have any suggestions what I could do with this hero, let me know. So I can show you. And I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone!